Sacrifice Bunny and a Runner from first to third base with a lefty up to bat. Coming up next. I'm going to video this. This will be great for my channel. Here. Hit me. Come here real quick. Come here real quick. Hey, listen. We're not saying stuff and they've all gets dropped, right? We're not saying job description. Hey, you forgot something, right? Or get a chair. Everything else is fair game. Okay? Everything else is fair game. Okay, got it. We have covered this offensive play in the past, but one thing not mentioned in that video is why it's usually easier to bunt a runner from first to third with a lefty up to bat. At the younger levels, this may not be the best play to use, as stealing second is often simple enough to do without giving up an out at the same time. Obviously, the game situation would dictate that, and every once in a while a team has a pitcher-catcher combination that can actually catch runner stealing. Once you get up to the 14U and above levels, Stealing second base becomes much more risky and is done far less often. Our catcher in 2022, for example, which was 16U, didn't even throw to second to make an attempt on a runner stealing until the seventh game of the season. The entire first tournament we attended, he didn't throw a single time. The benefit of the sacrifice bunt is that you remove the double play possibility and get a runner into scoring position. Ever since the book and movie Moneyball, the sack bunt has been looked at with much less fanfare. No bunts. Bunt is not. Not even third baseman's back. No bunting whatsoever. If someone bunts on us, just pick it up and throw it first. Don't try to be a hero and go to second. They're giving you an out, man. They're just giving it to you. Take it. Say thank you. But we don't play at the professional level either. Just because sabermetric nerds out there, and I use that phrase affectionately, say that the bunt is always a net negative doesn't mean that it applies to youth baseball. It's a net negative usually at the professional level for a reason. And I don't think any runner is going to go from first to third on a sack bunt at that level either. It'd be a fluke, not a high probability play as it was for us. So why does having a lefty up to place the bunt down help in getting the runner from first all the way to third? Well, normal bunt defense with a runner on first is for the second baseman to cover second, shortstop to cover third, and third baseman to charge in. Typically, defense on a stolen base with a runner on first and a lefty up to bat, the shortstop is covering the base on the steal while the second baseman waits to field a possible hit. This will pull the shortstop to second base on a steal, and he should be moving to second on the pitch. So this is where a lefty up takes advantage of typical defense. By bunting towards third base, you pull the third baseman into fielding the bunt, and because the shortstop went to second to cover on the steal, that leaves third base wide open. The defense to adequately defend this play needs to either have the second baseman cover the bag on the steal, and the shortstop needs to default to bunt coverage and not stolen base backup coverage. Having the second baseman cover the base on a steal does open up the pole side of the diamond for the traditional hit and run. So it's pretty complex, and that's why this strategy worked so well for us last summer especially since a good number of times they didn't even get the out at first base either. I mean, really, who's going to have their number two hitter put down a sack bunt in the very first inning of the game? Another option to defend this play is for the shortstop to recognize the bunt attempt, and once the ball is put in play, he abandons the covering of second and heads to third base to cover that base, but honestly, they almost never did this quickly enough to outrun the base runner and be there in time to actually make a play. Hey, I'm here too. What up, guys? Hey, brother. This looks like a great time to walk one off. All you gotta do is hit base hit, brother, and game's over. And then go home. Park. Hey, get a base hit. So okay, listen up. Line. Number one thing is no line drive doubles off. Yeah. Okay. You've got to read a baseball. Hard line drive in the air. Make sure we're freezing and getting back. All right. Yeah. Anything else? We're tagging up that side and getting to me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Same guy. Yeah. Hey, let's go, boy. Let's go. Oh, 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 oh,
I'm feeling it right now. <laughs> feeling myself. Oh, <laughs> 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 